Hey, what's up, guys? It's Imperious Nebula here, and today I am going to be making some random DIYs or just things to decorate your room with. Since I, like I said in my room tour video, I have a new room, so I need to decorate it. So I filmed a video on what things you might want to take from things that I've decorated and put them into your room. So without further ado, the video. So the first thing you're going to need are some post-it notes and a bunch of markers or Sharpies and tape. So you're gonna want to have a white piece of paper underneath and you're going to draw a picture, whatever picture you want on the post-it note. And once you're done drawing that, you're gonna take a black Sharpie and you're going to outline what you drew. Once you're done with that, you're just going to take whatever colors you want and you're going to color it in, but if you don't want to, you don't have to, but I'm just going to take some blue. I'm just going to decorate it however I want. Once you're done drawing, you're just going to cut it out with some scissors. And then you're going to take some tape and you're going to fold the tape together so they stick. And then you're going to put it on the back of your drawing. And then you're just going to tape it to wherever you want. And as you can see, I already drew some and put some on. So the first thing you're going to need for this craft is a sponge scissors, and markers. So first I'm just going to cut out a little square or <laughs> triangle looking thing. And I'm making a watermelon. You can make whatever you want, but this is for this specific craft. I am just going to shave the sponge until I like it. And then I'm going to use some Sharpies or markers and I don't have any puffy paint, so I'm just using this because I'm lame. And you can use whatever colors you'd like to draw in your watermelon, like maybe a lighter red or darker green. But next I'm just going to take this red sharpie and I'm going to outline where I want the red to be. Once you're done with that and everything is colored in, this is what it should look like. And then I'm just going to take my green colors and I am going to use neon green because I like it. And I'm just going to draw in the space that is yellow. Once you're done drawing all of your green in, you're going to take a darker sharpie color of green and I'm just going to color that in and I put a bit of green dots everywhere um, because that looks a bit more watermelon -y. then I took a black sharpie and just drew a bunch of black dots and this is what your watermelon might or should look like and it is not as squishy but it's pretty cool This next one is pretty simple. You're just gonna need paper, scissors, and a sharpie and tape. So first you're just going to cut out uh, some rectangles or ovals, like long ovals, whatever you'd like. Later on I'm going to put them on the shelves. And then I'm just going to write what is on the shelf so it just looks a bit more fancier or cooler or craftier and I'm just gonna write bookmarks for this one because I collect bookmarks don't judge me and then on this next one I just wrote pen slash markers and I'm going to fold the tape again and tape it to the back 
and I'm going to tape it to where I want them. So those are the awesome crafts that I made and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I am going to be making more videos and I am back from California and I completely forgot to vlog. Oh no, but it's okay because I made up for this video making some cool watermelon squishy thingies and they're pretty cool and I also made this cookie but I didn't include that in the video. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe.